I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. All right, this is the first video where I'm targeting trout. Uh, I'm gonna catch a couple of redfish first. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Maybe a snook. Nope. Nice red. Mm. Definitely a big one. some strength on these things. Alright. Yeah, so these are the uh, five inch jerk shads. Um, you know, it's funny, some places where I throw these, you basically can't use them because the pinfish and everything else destroy them. But that typically is just out a little farther like even where I am right now if I cast towards the mangroves I have like very little uh, problems with interference fish however if I go out even a hundred feet from where I am now it's like a sandy bottom and it's just loaded with things that just hammer these and the worst interference fish that I've had um, or actually the blowfish, they just chop these things in half. But uh, for this fishing I'm doing here in this area, it, no problem. Uh, I will probably go through one package per trip and I'll catch quite a few fish on that package because um, certainly it's multiple fish per bait. But uh, yeah, it, it all depends where I'm fishing it. Still like a weak fish. Oh, my God. oh really nice. Okay, a nice trout for sure. And uh, this one's caught slightly off of where I catch the redfish. It's a little bit deeper area. Um, but this fish was important because I kind of kept this in mind uh, when the redfishing is going to drop off and uh, it's going to cause me to target these and it's going to turn into a really excellent trip. Um, just focusing on the trout. Oh, perfect. Come on, one snook. Just 
want to stay off the mangroves here. Nice one. So I probably spent another 90 minutes focusing on redfish along the stretch where I usually get them and I just, you just couldn't find them. Uh, they just weren't there. So I recalled that trout and moved up and you know, we're talking maybe a hundred yards from where oh, I got the redfish. Right um, but it's a little bit deeper, the bottom's right a little there. bit different, a little sandier. Uh, so I decided to uh, drop back onto that trout area and see if I could get some trout. All right, you'll get a good look at the retrieve here and uh, if you were to see the lure, it's got a really nice darting action. There he is. Trout again. Goodness, look at the size of this thing. Wow. Alright. So I'm aiming to get close to the mangroves with these casts uh, because that's where the snook and uh, some of the redfish would be. The trout, not so much. Uh, they're not usually along the mangroves from what I've seen. Uh, mostly they're, they're off them a little bit. You know, I really prefer to use something other than gulp for this, um, but th this is what's working the best for me, especially on the trout. I mean, I definitely notice a difference um, when I throw non-gulp jerk baits uh, with the trout. I don't seem to do as well, and I feel that way about the redfish. Um, if I'm in an area where there's a lot of interference fish and the gulp just doesn't make sense, then uh, absolutely the Z-Man jerk baits uh, are my next best choice. So it's my impression that the uh, slower retrieves work the best on the trout.
cast. Come on, Mr. Snook. Right in there. So a lot of times you'll see me have a reaction before I set the hook. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, there, there's a pickup, you know, you, you're moving it along, and all of a sudden there's, you have contact with it. And I just give it a second and then bury the hook hard. Got a local guide coming up behind me here. Well, what's going on? Trout. Can't catch a cold. Ah. Trout. I'm surprised you're all the way over here. Well, I came all the way north to check John, it out. How are you? Nice to see you. How you doing? It's, so, it's barren down there. You know, there's no grass. It's all dirt. Yeah, I'm really surprised to see you come this far. I mean, I, I come here because I, I got a launch ramp, you know. Oh, yeah, right. I, I don't have any range, you know. So, yeah. Well, it's uh, been a good stretch, but uh, I'm just not finding any fish. Yeah. How many trout you get? I, I've been here for hours now. Uh, I've got at least five, a couple of reds, um, no snook. I've been just about the fourth time I've fished here. Only one small snook. No snook here I, for me. So, I uh, my lamest hookup yet.
Right, and success this day was a lot about choosing a, a spot out of the wind. I mean, you've heard that wind puffing the whole trip, but it's beautiful in here. Well, I'm going to leave you with uh, part of the pedal home. Uh, it's not pretty. Um, all right, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.